When I was a senior in high school, I took a series of courses at Columbia University in New York. The course that really excited me at the time was a course in psychobiology. And this was the very beginning of neuroscience. I went to college and took a number of courses in Freudian and Jungian psychiatry at that time. And the field was not rigorous enough for my liking. So I figured that I would go on to medical school, become a neurologist. And when I went to medical school, I got a PhD because I was interested in doing science and research as well. I figured I would do as my first clinical rotation surgery. What I realized then was that I loved to see the anatomy. And so I rotated on neurosurgery and that's where I really became convinced that that's what I wanted to do. Seeing the nervous system and the elegance of the structures really had an effect on me. I ended up really falling in love with cerebrovascular surgery, which in some ways is one of the most delicate kind of neurosurgeries that we do. You might think that operating on someone's brain would be a very daunting task and almost disabling, but while it's stressful, it's also very creative in a way because you're constantly confronted with new problems. And I think that's probably good that you have a little bit of anxiety because you don't want to become too complacent about operating on the brain. I've been a neurosurgeon on faculty for almost 30 years. And the reason that I've stayed here is because it is the most wonderful place, I think, in the world to work.